What's your kryptonite? Yeah, by the end of this episode, you will learn how to have your own special superhero suit to protect yourself. Just like Superman. Yeah, with his lead suit to protect yourself from the kryptonite. So listen to Get Real Real with with the English English Sisters. Thank you for your support. We recently had our 75th episode Yay! and we're so happy. We actually went out to celebrate yes, this morning, didn't we? it was amazing. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you all for your support, for following us on Apple Podcasts and wherever for you For all your, your downloads. Yes. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. So let's get right into this then. I mean, Superman. Yeah, I, was I, I love that I curious about the little rock that was the kryptonite. Were you? And you know what? The interesting fact is that kryptonite actually comes from Superman's original planet. I know, it's weird. It's like from within yourself, isn't it? It is a bit, It's a yeah. metaphor for that. <laughs> well, it could be a metaphor for that, yeah. So it's like the very thing that comes from your own planet, you know, can... You know, obviously, I think in the film it was exposed to some kind of radiation or something that turned it... Yeah. You know, it turned it bad. I can't remember it now, but yeah. And so you, you know, from it, from within ourselves, we can have these kind of mental blocks that can cause us to have like our, our own, own kryptonite, our own weaknesses. Yeah, that can really affect us. It was funny because the other day my son said to me, "Mum, that's your kryptonite." And what are you talking about? And it was because I don't like going out around five o'clock. Yes, I do know that. <laughs> In the afternoon, just when it's tea time, unless I'm already out. But if I'm at home, I don't like I don't like planning my day. So if I'm working from home, I don't like planning my day and going out at five. And sometimes, obviously, you have to. And <laughs> that's always when. Oh no, I don't want to go yeah. out. And so my son said. That's your kryptonite, Mum. Yeah, it did it make us laugh. think about it, yeah. And then it made us have the episode, <laughs> you know, idea for this podcast because it is quite funny. But in the end, yeah, it, it's true though, isn't it's it? Because it's like, because I always Is that feel, because it's I like a trigger for you? I feel strong at that time of day. I like to really? be out in the morning or in the evening. Yeah. Because I suppose it's because it's what we're used to. It's just end. patterns so of behaviour. So is the kryptonite also, can, is it a bit tricky? Can it be a bit sneaky? Can it also be what you're used to? So it's your own patterns of behaviour that you're not aware of, but that's actually causing your weakness, your pattern of behaviour. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, just because it's it's a habit. So yes. it's it's just become something that you you pose your own limitations on so you think I'm not used to going out at that hour <laughs> it's either before or after so you form this kind of habit and you're familiar with that and you yeah. don't want to break it yeah. so by breaking it it makes you feel, feel a bit vulnerable feel vulnerable feel weak and you don't you don't want to do that so yeah that is something I think we can become aware of you know why are we particularly weak and kind of feel that we don't have our normal power? Uh, is it just out of habit? Uh, I that think is an it's interesting. Not just out of habit, but I think out of habit is the like the one that you probably wouldn't think of as kryptonite. What's that? It's the- <laughs> It's like the unusual one. Yeah. It's like the black sheep in in the thing, if you can get my meaning. No. Because normally your kryptonite would be like something, say, say something you don't like doing, wouldn't it? But not because you're not... I don't know if, if, if that's like what I was meaning by kryptonite. I mean, I think it could, like your kryptonite could be issues handling money, exactly. relationship problems, a fear of failure, past regrets, overeating, for example. Yeah. That could be your kryptonite. Or just procrastination, like what we've said many, many times. That could well, be like, like chocolate. We once had that client. Do you remember well, yes. that? She, she had, that was her kryptonite. She had the kryptonite. Yeah. As soon as she would see chocolate, she couldn't stop eating. Yes, that was like her big weakness. Uh, so, it, it, you know, having this kind of, these kind of issues can really stop you leading your best life. 
it's, but I think that once, as usual, you become aware of what your kryptonite is. It's all about like, awareness. Like, for example, yours is just, a, it's, it's, it's not, it doesn't really affect your life that much, but maybe well, it, it does, does in a more subtle way. It. Of course it affects it because it, well, it doesn't affect me now because I'm aware of it, especially yeah. since my son pointed, pointed it out. out yeah. And I'm not going to let it beat me. You're going to so say who cares? Plan yeah. things at five o'clock. Yeah, it's when, weird, isn't it? Yeah, just and five I o'clock. was thinking, why five o'clock? And I was thinking, probably because when we were little, five o'clock was bedtime. Everything bedtime. Well, well more was, or less. Yeah. When we were tiny, I'm talking yeah, about yeah. six. That was a long <laughs> Do time ago. Do you remember ago. we used to? Think, Mum would put us in our bed, which was the front room then, because we we you know we yeah. didn't have a proper bedroom. No. And we would go into the little front room and play our little games, and it was yeah. five o'clock. And I remember it still I thought being five light. o'clock was like tea time, not when no, we not were young. When we were little. No, not when no. we. were well, it was like supper time. Really? Gosh. Yeah, when yeah we she... were really little back in the day. Yeah, it was she... after school. Well, we didn't go to school, preschool. Oh, is that when you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, right. When we were really little. And then I remember like after Do you think like, the habit has formed from such a long well, time ago? I don't ago. know. But I, have to, I mean, this is a bit fickle, this one. We're yeah, it's fickle. About. It's a bit of a laugh. It's a laugh, yeah. It's not really. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's not like... really. You have to try and... And my real kryptonite, which is not really, but I really, is my weakness, would be driving at night, the same as yours. Yeah, but I think there's a real reason to that. It's because we can't see properly. Yeah, I know. I feel like I really can't but see wasn't properly. Wasn't it funny that after we did yeah. all our studies, we could see okay? I mean, now I can't because I've had I've the had... retinal distortion. <laughs> but before it was a bit of a ex- mental block. A mental block. Yeah, wasn't you're it? right. Because it, it, mm. but it's also realistic because we live it, in the country. But it's also no a habit. Li- there's no. It's lighting. habit though. It's habit. It habit. You're right. Because if you had to drive at night every habit. day. Yeah. For work if I or had something. To for work, I would just have to get when used we to had it that and drive conf- slowly. When we had the conference in Pisa, we just drove at night and we were yes, surprised to say we were struggling a lot. Yeah, but we did it. We did it. And and we overcame that. And it was like we overcame many We did things. not let yeah, we did not let the the, the <laughs> kryptonite within us affect us. But yeah, if you think about what your kryptonite is, you'd be surprised to find that it once you know what it is, you really can have, like, it, it no longer jacket, disarms you. 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 Yes, jacket. you can have the lead suit, and you can think, okay, you know, I can like just imagine putting my lead suit on now, and you can have that that barrier of protection and get all your powers back. And your kryptonite could be somebody in a relationship, for example. It could be a member of your family. It could be that you just feel particularly vulnerable or weak around. It could be somebody at work. Yeah. You've got to try. I mean, ours is like Violetta was talking about particular time Mm. in the day. But it could be something else that you could think, okay, okay, that's my kryptonite. Yeah, I figured it out. I I bet you anyone listening to this knows what their kryptonite is. I'm just thinking that some people's kryptonite would be alcohol well yes it's more like or less the much. same as overeating yes, yes over drinking exactly yeah. and so knowing that we're like talking about an addiction here but knowing how to protect yourself yeah but it even might not before... be at levels of addiction exactly. i'm not oh, talking okay. about alcoholism okay. i'm talking about you might just have one too many too often and it make you feel weak about and it. it makes you feel weak and vulnerable yeah, and vulnerable yeah. and you might get into tricky situations because of it afterwards into situations that you might not have really wanted to be in and so they cause regret yeah, they cause regret a lot of problems. regret yeah so yeah i think once you're aware of it you you can you can put your lead suit on and you can get you know you can imagine superhero <laughs> within you and <laughs> And and I bet you no. it will work because it's worked on us so and you we've can done say it. No to things, can't you? When well, you, you've got your lead suit on. When you've got more protection, you can definitely say no. Uh, say no or say yes. Mm, yeah, I mean, here it's. I was reading about kryptonite, and it said that it can also be something that would make you particularly susceptible to sickness. So we could also think of it as something like within our health. What oh, is yes. your kryptonite? Yeah, what, like my son, for example, he he can't have air conditioning. If if he goes near air conditioning in the car, or you know, if it's quite strong, he'll immediately get like a terrible throat ache. 
Yeah. Yeah, sore that throat. Is he was born premature, do you think? I have no idea, but that could be like his kryptonite. Yeah. I mean, you know, I always tell him. And you get headaches, don't you? And I used to get a lot of migraines in that when I was stressed. Yeah, definitely. I don't anymore, but I used to. Yeah. So that would have been my kryptonite. For the her. migraines, yeah. Migraines. My other son suffers from migraines, definitely, yeah. I actually asked him today, what's your kryptonite? He said, migraines. Because <laughs> that's something that are immediately... It's, it's amazing how your body, like, your body will take take on what you can't deal with uh, mentally and, you know, it'll become a physical thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, kryptonite is... is in with within with in the Superman film and the cartoon and everything, it was so potentially dangerous that it could actually you know kill, yeah, kill them it, and it caused excruciating pain. Mm. So it's something I think we can all relate to. Of we course. know what that thing is that, especially if it's an important issue that does cause us emotional pain and, and it could be something that might not be really painful but it's just niggling at us every day that it makes you kind of feel a bit sick in your stomach like you know what it is i think that's the most dangerous isn't it yeah because it's, it's continuous it's not, yeah it's not just it's, the one-off thing exactly it's like you enter the workspace and you see that person and all of a sudden it's like yeah. the green stone <laughs> da, 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 da. and you really you know our you're, suggestion you're completely is completely disarmed, aren't you? That's it. Whether as before you might have felt quite okay, you know, your base kind of feeling was normal and that, but then you kind of get that niggly thing. And what happens is the other person can unconsciously detect that you're feeling that way and may start like even like, acting up even more i think well yeah it's a bit like blackmailing you know emotional yes. kind of i want to discuss that in another podcast but yeah. yes it's it's kind of it's a play of uh, it's a power tri- it's a power play it's a it? trigger isn't it they mm. can sense the weakness it's like when you say uh, you know <laughs> so like with animals exactly animals, don't like, let the don't animal let the, don't let the dog know that you're scared exactly yeah well that's what <laughs> our mum used to say do you remember when we well, were really yeah. little <laughs> Once again, we're always talking about that. But yeah, she would say, don't let the dog know that you're so scared. Just continue walking. Don't run and be calm and stay collected and you'll be fine. Because in those days along our little streets, there was lots of dogs. There were so many the dogs and they did not have leashes on them. No, no, because, they were just, yeah, in the, in the like, just used to let them out, late they? 70s, early 80s. Yeah, they would just be out on the road, the dogs, you know. So we were scared of them because when you're not very tall... Even a medium-sized dog seems a bit of a threat. And and anyway. Even a little dog. I used to be, when I was at uni, I would be terrified of a little dog. It would be so ferocious every time I'd walk past. And he was inside a little garden. But the really? the fence was very low. and they, he The could, loud he, noise. He or yeah. she could have gotten out. Exactly. So yeah. I was scared. Also, because we didn't grow up with dogs. No, we didn't no. know much about them. Then we now, later cats. on as adults, we've had dogs and we love them dearly. And yeah. we've learned a lot That's about fine. their behavior and... And how to... And how, how they, they, how they communicate well. with us. Yeah, so their kind of communication. But in that, yeah, we did not know about dogs. Uh, and so, yeah, they, they were like a... A bit of a mystery, weren't they? They were a bit of a mystery, and um, yeah, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> because you're thinking of Otto, probably. Yeah, my your dog. little doggy, yeah. yeah. How cute he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's adorable. Um, yeah, he'll bark when he's frightened. Yeah, so once if you don't know how they communicate, you can be more scared of them. So yeah. if you do see somebody that is your kryptonite, it could be just a question that you're not understanding their communication as well. A bit yeah, like us be. with the dogs be. when we were young. It could be. It could be that. Or they could be aggressive. Be a bit aggressive and you might make you feel weak and vulnerable and disarmed. So take a moment. You know, take a moment. If you can step outside somewhere else, move away from them physically just for a little second if you can. Otherwise, you can just just blink for a second. They won't even notice it. You put your special lead suit on in your imagination. Mm. Just visualize it, Mm. you know. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. 
put the suit on and send to yourself and send to yourself and then you come back this could just take like 10 seconds nice. super super and you come back with all your superpowers yay and you can then you know be ready fully armed in a way to deal with whatever is going to come to you whatever that person may say to you and you and it won't make you feel vulnerable no i wish i learned this when i was younger because I know. Every time I would be faced with authority, you know, I was frightened. Of I was really frightened of it, and that would be my kryptonite. Mm. I would just be so terrified of it. Like if I was ever called in when I used to be an air hostess, and they would call me in to the, you know, the offices, and I would be like, <gasps> you know, that I, I would feel so vulnerable and so weak. Within mm. me, I wish I'd known about this superpower. I think thing. it was a lack of confidence as well, or a fear. I Absolutely. was frightened of authority. Authority was my. I think kryptonite. it was because our parents were were immigrants, like what you said, and, and Mum had escaped from Franco, from the civil from war the in the Spain. Super, well, it was after the civil war, yeah, but when they had the right wing so... dictatorship, she she managed to get out when Franco was a bit more lenient, and he let her out. Not just her, he said people could emigrate. Really? To London. Yeah, I didn't so actually realise that. She yeah. came to London and then dad as well, he was a Hungarian refugee. So it's like what we said when we when we went back to Hungary, even though afterwards when he had a British passport and everything, how terrified he still was they weren't going to let him out. So do you think this is all connected to I our do. fear of authority yes, in a way? Like because the government the authority was bad. It wasn't there to help you. It was a bad authority. Gosh, that they you're right. I never with, thought about it like well, that. Well, they grew up yeah. they were in c countries they had to escape from authority. It wasn't like the authority was protecting them like you'd expect it to. No. Yeah, you're right. And then at school as well, authority wasn't always very good, especially you no know, for me I I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I did anyway. not. Anyway, yeah. So that could be, if I'd known about that, I would have really been able to, you know, so I hope any one of you, doesn't matter whatever age you are, you know, you really do get this message. You can really change your state of mind so quickly. Please do not underestimate this. It can really change your life. If you do learn to, to metaphorically put that lead suit on, you will be protected. Mm. You can face the kryptonite. You can face your fears and you can come out stronger from it. Well, you'll always be stronger once you face your fears. You will. Yes. And it doesn't have to make you feel sick or vulnerable no. or frightened. And obviously do things that... Um you know ecological and sensible because obviously if you're you know you can't you have to be reasonable as well if you're like what our, our father was you can't you can't go and you know against a whole regime or something and be you know do something defiant that's going to get you into trouble you can but you have to think about the consequences well don't yeah you? In those yeah serious yeah situations. i know what you mean yes but I, I wasn't actually talking about those extreme situations. Yeah, I was. There are many people that are in these extreme situations as well, and there's sometimes. Well, be careful. You please. have to put your lead suit on and be stay calm and stay calm and and, and think keep about protecting quiet. yourself. Yeah. Yes, please do. Yeah, stay. Put the lead suit on, but use your inner power use your inner to powers to stay strong and you know and do wise. what's best for you. Be brave, but be wise about mm. it. Be careful. If you are in a situation where you think, you know, your kryptonite could be. Yeah, because I'm thinking as well, some some women, some women or yeah. men, they can get themselves into difficult situations now when they're dating and into quite oh, dangerous. Oh, in those kind of relationships. Yeah, I'm just thinking about that now. It yeah. just comes to mind and you can maybe go to someone's house and be in a really tricky situation. Because that is like your kryptonite, you maybe want affirmation you want confirmation that you're loved and you might get yourself into a difficult situation that you wouldn't really want to be in so then you know our advice is to you know stay calm and you know get out of there quietly and quickly as well as you can 
so so i don't really understand what, what you what, what what do you mean but by I'm that can you explain that, like, it yeah, further i'm thinking like that sometimes in, especially in the dating game now it's so quick and furious okay you might go on a date and then the, say you not want to have like a sexual might want relationship to have a sexual in, a relationship yeah, with you and you, you might think this it. isn't right i'm not ready for okay. this i don't want this but you might already be in that person's house whether you're male female or other you might be there and you might feel pressurized. Feel pressurized. Right, okay. and no, no, but it could even turn out to be violent, like we've oh, heard. You yes, know, we've yeah. had so many cases like this. So just keep calm, put your put your lead suit on and, and think of a way cleverly of cleverly how to get of out. Getting out of that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You have to learn to be clever in those situations, yeah. Yeah. But I think if, and if be you aware, be aware that be aware that if you uh, be aware that this is your kryptonite, this is your weakness, and make sure you're not in that vulnerable situation. So always say, go with a person, go with someone else. If you're going to go and meet someone, meet someone in a safe place. Don't go back to their place because knowing that your kryptonite, yes. your weakness, is the desire to be loved, no mm. matter what cost. Yes, you can find yourself in, in these very tri- difficult because situations. if uh, somebody tells you you're beautiful beautiful and that they desire you that could be your weakness you may have a strong desire for attention for love for somebody to look at you in a particular way and yes and you that can, can get be very into, tricky also not just like on on a one-off you but you can also get into tricky um situations by dating a person and going in too quick and too fast like committing right. the, to them too quickly maybe committing because of to your marriage too quickly attend, within maybe yeah, a period of six months saying that you love that person too quickly without actually fully like you know, understanding, understanding yeah. who that person really is you're just making someone up in your mind that you want that person to be kind of thing yeah and you're then, romanticizing yes. the uh, the person in your mind so that could be yeah. your kryptonite your kryptonite could be i want to get you know be you're too much of a romantic in a way a yeah too yeah. much yeah you have to watch out for that as well that's actually quite common very know. common yeah mm. watch out for that too <laughs> Yeah, that is common. I hadn't actually thought of it like that. I know that kryptonite can be like, for some people it could be, you know, even somebody they they dearly love. You know, it could be like a mother figure. That could be, you know, every time they come and they see their parents, their mom, whoever it is, you know, it's like makes them feel vulnerable, makes them feel weak because they could have received criticism and and constant judgment from uh, from mum or dad or whatever so yeah with sons sometimes it's a father figure it is it is so yeah i think if you're aware of it you put your suit on on and and you've you've got that power you know what to do don't you you know how to do the next step you won't be in that vulnerable situation because the thing is that once you are in the vulnerable situation it's going to get you the kryptonite it's going to make you feel weak but if you already know about it in advance you can be prepared it, you well you, you can avoid it you suit up don't, don't you do you literally suit up, suit up. Yeah. you you've got your protection with you your inner mental protection yeah. or you can choose as well just to avoid that situation as well if that's what's best but for you. exactly you can say well at the moment i'm not going to go and like see for me that the five person. o'clock thing is yeah a, is a, that's your a trivial thing and i've decided that i will suit up for that and will. I will go and do things at five. Yes, yeah, and not make now, a big deal yes. about it. <laughs> yeah, depending on the weather as well, isn't yes, it? Like, not make a big deal about it. Yeah. But if, but if for you, that for me, that would be a good thing. I think for my mental well, health. Yeah, that's a bit of a block, isn't yes, it? It's yeah, a it's a block. bit of a habit. Yeah. It's a habit. It's a block. So I yeah. can get rid of that. I can you say can goodbye get, to that. You can block. say goodbye to that. But right for, now. but if it's something that's going to be harmful or dangerous to you and it's not going to be beneficial to you, you can just maybe avoid that situation altogether. Absolutely. Knowing that it's your kryptonite. Knowing, yes, knowing exactly. Knowing. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. <laughs> because awareness. Self is power. awareness is power. Total power. Total That's power. really going to make you the power. superpower. Yeah, the superhero within so you. So let us know what your kryptonite is. And if you enjoy this episode, please do come and follow us on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts for free. And please do leave a review as well because they really help 
others find us find us yeah absolutely <laughs> and come and watch us on youtube too come and say hi lots of love and smiles from, from the, the english, english sisters, sisters.